thank you for joining me. I'm out at the cabin today. It's uh, mid-May. Um, if you made it this far in the video, obviously, you can see I'm doing electrical work at the cabin. Well, this is an off-grid cabin, but I decided to put in a battery system and inverters and uh, kind of a proof of concept right now. Um, I'll show you the batteries. They're just uh, actually just car batteries. I eventually will get uh, flooded at lead acid sealed or AGM uh, type batteries for use with solar panels and an inverter. So, but anyway, I purchased an inverter. Um, kind of, it's the kind you can use in a vehicle or whatever. It's 2,000 uh, 2,000 watt, uh, 4,000 watt peak or whatever and 2,000 watt continuous. Of course, the two battery pack that I'm using wouldn't be enough to source. 2,000 watts for very long, so that's why you have to probably, you know, up, or I'll, I'll probably have to upgrade. Um, I've been studying the electrical part of it, and uh, there's a lot to go th go with solar panels. It's not as simple as it seems. Um, I never really, I guess I always planned to put electrical in. I never missed it for the last couple years, but I have to say, messing around with lamps and lamp oil. And uh, propane lamps, you know, it's kind of a pain. It would be nice to have lights. And then, of course, the other thing is my uh, my wood stove has a blower on it. And it doesn't take a lot of juice, uh, so to make the blower work, i got to run the generator. Well, that's a pain, too. So I didn't feel like running the generator to do all that anymore. So um, I like it quiet. I mean, it's not that big a deal. But you really don't want to run that generator, you know, 24/7 in the winter when you're trying to heat the cabin. That gets costly too with fuel. Even though that's an inverter generator, it's Champion. It runs really cheaply, but you still got to uh, jump gas in it. So uh, I thought it'd be nice to go this way. Uh, solar panels, you know, are kind of a compromise, just like wind generation is a compromise. Uh, wind generators are, are loud. Um, they, if they're not, if the controller shorts out and stuff, they can start on fire. There's a lot of little things with wind generators. Um, solar is kind of the same thing, but a, a little bit less problematic. Kind of, you know, set it up to uh, keep the batteries topped up. Have a solar controller, and when the batteries are full, it'll start shunting that off. Um, here we get about. I've been looking. It's a nice, fairly sunny day, somewhat hazy, and basically on the northwest side of the cabin, believe it or not, it's about the only place I get decent sun. Even on the roof of the cabin, I don't. I don't want to cut any more trees. Um, I like it the way it is, so i got to compromise a little bit. Uh, to me, it looks like four or five hours of sun in the summer. Uh, winter, probably more when the leaves are down, but of course you have less intensity then, too. So that, that'll work um, probably okay. At least, you know, it'll be charged up when I get here, and if I'm using it, whatever, I can always charge it with the generator. The generator has a 12-volt uh, setup to charge with. So, and it works fine. I just tried it. I've been running all morning on and off, and it keeps the batteries topped up. Uh, the inverter I'm pretty happy with. Um, I've got it. I've tried it with my wood stove. It runs the fan, no problem. I tried it with my little shop vac that I cleaned the cabin with. Runs it no problem, which actually kind of surprised me. Uh, the batteries dropped about a volt in a, in a like five minute period. You know, of course there was nothing going in, but you know they, they drop fast, and they are just car batteries, so I don't expect the world out of them. Uh, like I said, I'll I'll probably invest if this keeps if this works as good as it looks as though it's going to work. I probably invest in a you know a, uh, more of a solar based you know cell that'll provide power to the inverter and you know for long term long term storage and supposedly they last you know five six years of a crack so i guess just like a car battery so yeah there's cost so yeah live you know being off grid is being off grid so if you want electricity if you're on grid you pay for it if you're off grid you pay for it so but it would be nice to charge a phone and cameras and stuff like that too so um I'll show you what I did. We'll go inside. I got the lamps going right now. I do not have lights in there, but I'm hoping to. Um, if you have any ideas on LED lighting that I could use or you know, you have any suggestions, please put it in the comments section. I'd love to hear them. 
Um, I'm pretty much open. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I want lights upstairs. I want lights downstairs. And then, uh, you know, maybe run an outlet upstairs and a couple outlets down. And then uh, we'll go from there and see how it is. But I'll take you inside show you the inverter first. Now, this is the inverter uh, against the wall. And I'm going to put my sofa back here or whatever, a patio. <laughs> my patio sofa. And uh, that'll cover it up. I don't care. I mean, it's not that... You know, it, it doesn't have to look that rustic. Um, but anyway, this is the inverter. It's got two fans on it. Um, so far, it hasn't kicked in. I haven't used it enough, of course. Um, you know, it, 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 it's very similar. That particular model will run in a car or run off of solar batteries. doesn't matter how you do it. And it's got two outlets and a USB plug-in. So... And I forget the USB plug-in is whatever the standard is for that. And then the, the plugs are 120 volts, 15 amps coming out. So, and I just got a, a, a pad, just a cord with a plug-in running over to an outlet. For now, that's just, like I said, this is proof of concept. We're, we're going to change it, and I'll run, a, I'll run a new cord and everything for the lights, and I'll put on a switch. And uh, I wanted something that was kind of versatile, so that's why I went with that. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big unit. It's actually bigger than I thought it was. Um, and I probably could have got away with a 1500 watt setup. But it does run the shop vac. The little shop vac tastes a lot of juice. So I'm kind of happy about that. So that's, like I said, this is only phase one proof of concept. And hopefully over this summer I'll get this set up. Uh, we'll put the solar panels out, and uh, we'll go from there. Now I'm going to go outside. Oh, one other thing I like, it has remote control, and I'm going to show you that right now. So you don't have to bend down, turn it on or off. And I put it right underneath the stairway. You can see it. It's right here. Hang on here. We're going to shake you around a bit. Yeah, so there's a, a little remote control. It's wired, and that shuts it off. Of course, I'm going to put a disconnect on the battery pack, so don't worry about that. And that should, you know, when I'm gone, shut it down. Now, of course, if we have solar panels, the charge controller, that'll stay on all the time. Because um, that'll tend the batteries. So, but here, we can remotely turn it back on. It gives you a fault sign. And right now, it's telling me my batteries are 12, looks like 12.4. It has that um, going in. And then, I know it has some standby draw. And... That's okay. I mean, it's, and these are old batteries, so I'm not complaining. Like I said, this is still proof of concept. All right, we'll go out front now, or I mean, out to the north side of the shack here, and uh, we'll see. Um, I'll show you the battery pack setup I got. I got a battery box and this kind of thing, and uh, we'll talk about that. Yep, so that's what you got. Basically, two car batteries. Both of them used. I think one of them's four years old, so it's not real good. Um, but, like I said, this is just proof of concept. We're going to use these batteries until we decide, you know, exactly how much we need. Um, lithium batteries are very expensive, so I probably would not go that route. Um, my Champion generator runs a 12-volt outlet, and I'm thinking about, I think I'm going to make a, a plug-in to plug into the generator for 120 on a separate outlet. So that that way you don't have to worry about. You can get a full 120 directly from the generator. So it's kind of multi-use. You can charge your batteries with it, and also, you know, however you want to do it, you have that option. So the only thing I might have to do here, I might have to vent uh, when I get when I get it set up um, with the solar panels. I might have to vent the box because sometimes batteries release hydrogen especially car batteries they kind of like to release hydrogen and then you could have a theoretically an explosion so hopefully not but that's possibility but that's that's basically what i got for now well there you go that's pretty much everything i've done today uh, it doesn't seem like a lot i don't know i did drill and you know the usual stuff um through the logs and it, it, log cabin it makes it harder you know i can see you know why why people don't do that it'd be nicer to have a, a stick built you know two by four um, cabin um, but this looks cool it was cheap really and it worked good uh, the, the last thing i want to point out this area here probably i'll put a solar array here 
that's my plan. And then, of course, wire it over. And I don't know, I might have to put it in conduit because I got a lot of critters around here and maybe they would chew up wire, I don't know. So far, they've been good with pretty much, I haven't had anything chewed up really. I got a chipmunk that lives underneath and in, he comes in and out, and I don't know where he gets in, but uh, he, he brings in acorns all the time, so, but uh, I don't want to poison him really. I don't know. So, anyway, this is where I'm going to have my solar array, and I'll run some conduit probably uh, back to the battery box with a solar controller, and I'll make a video of that. So, anyway, we're trying to electrify the cabin. So if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Uh, hit hit like, uh, hit subscribe. I'm gonna have more building videos, or actually in this case, electrifying the cabin videos. Probably two more, um, and then I'll show you how it looks when it's done. It'll be nice at night, I think. So uh, anyway, um, I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.